Good morning, fellas. We're up bright and early. I don't even see the sun yet, but it's light out, so that's cool. We got percolated coffee. We had some breakfast burritos. Joey slept amazing last night. I did. We were up at like... 4:30. So we're gonna get loaded up and uh, go fishing today. The girls are gonna come. I don't necessarily know what the plan is. I'm just kind of going with the flow here. So hopefully we'll be catching some fish. I really hope I can catch more than one fish. Yesterday was bad, so we'll see what we can do today. Gotta put the old waders on. Found out yesterday that my waders leak. So pretty disappointed about that. But it's not bad. So I'm gonna have to take my waders back to Rogers and get a new pair. It's not a bad leak by any means, but my leg's gonna get pretty wet. But on the bright side, it's not 20 degrees outside. I think I never noticed it because the insulation in these waders absorbed it. I took the insulation out for this trip. So that's what's going on. There. I'm gonna stick with the fly rod today. And uh, what we're going to try and catch them on is this little San Juan worm right there. That should be the juice. So let's get to fishing. Oh, I got one. First fish of the day. Second fish of the trip. Second fish of, oh shoot. Oh, he spit the hook. There we go. First one of the day. Honestly, I was just uh, picking my line up to recast and he was on there. Fish on. That's a good one too. Yeah, it's on. It's a good one, Lauren. There we go. I'm gonna get him on the stringer before he flops away. I'm gonna get him on a stringer before he flops away. Oh, come on. Squirmy little sucker. Through his gill and out of his mouth. There we go, fish number two for today. Looking good. Okay, we're at spot number two. This is a fly only area. So we're gonna be doing fly fishing. Gonna stick with that uh, San Juan worm. And hopefully we'll catch fish. I might teach Lauren how to fly fish. Lauren, do you wanna learn how to fly fish? Yeah. Yes, she does. This will be interesting. So hopefully we can catch a fish. He did catch a fish. He just caught, he just caught a fish. Cool. Yeah, let's get after it. Well, we didn't catch anything at the fly only spot, so we are back to where we were. Oh yeah, you guys, I didn't catch any. Those guys caught some, that's right. Uh, we're back to where we were yesterday. It's pretty full, so hopefully we can squeeze in and find a spot. World. 
take this in. I am a better fisherwoman than Josh because he runs a famous YouTube channel. Not really that famous. But, and I just fish on the side when um, my boyfriend and his friends make me and I'm still better than Josh. Right, Adam? Yes. Water. What do you mean? I got fish on, boys. Fish on, boys. San Juan. Okay, flies up. Gotta get my hands wet. And figure out how to hold a freaking trout. <laughs> These guys are so slippery. Okay. See you later, Hoss. Editing this video, I realized I never closed out this video. Nothing else happened after we got done fishing. I only caught like three fish that day, and I caught them all on the San Juan worm, and that seemed to be doing the trick that day. And this whole like trout fishing thing, it's so new to me. I still don't think I have the hang of it after this whole trip. It was definitely fun to catch them on a fly rod, and I think this trip really did revamp my love for fly fishing. And I'm looking forward to getting out and fly fishing this spring and summer. One of my favorite things to do actually is bed fish bluegills with a fly rod. So if you guys are interested in seeing that video come out, let me know. It usually happens about, about in June is when the bluegills seem to spawn. I'm not really sure, but I'll have to keep an eye on it. So I'm looking forward to that. And, you know, all in all, this was a pretty decent day of fishing. The thing that's really frustrating is you can see the fish in the river the whole time. And you're just trying to put the fly in front of them. And sometimes they bite, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they, they follow it, they look at it, and then they turn away. It's just, it's real different. And it's not like flipping a jig on top of a bass and then they just aggressively bite it. Trout are a little finickier, so... All in all, it was a good day of fishing, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys can follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. So be sure to follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that's it for today. Be sure to stay tuned for tomorrow's video of day three of trout fishing in Missouri.